Hi! Oh, that wasn't even slippy. I mean, I don't know what I expected. I've literally got my bare feet. But you can't see my feet because you might take a photo and sell them on the... Actually, no one wants to see my feet. I've got, like, ballet feet, so my feet are all, like, crooked and bent, so... I don't know. Can you even see them there? On another note, right, this means nothing to the video. But I started the gym again, okay? And when I tell you I can't move my legs, I'm actually walking like I've shit myself. She's shot, she's shot. I used the term dancer lightly, but I was a dancer. Am I still a dancer? Maybe, who knows? But when I say it... Ow! Ah, this hurts! Why does it hurt so much? Oh, okay. Let's make a drink. Oh, we have made a drink. I think you already made one. Where is it? I'm sure I made one. I did. I made one. Hi everyone. So, it's warm outside. What the hell? I decided to go for a walk this morning because I've been feeling if you follow me on Instagram or on TikTok, you know I've been going through a bit of a, an emotional period in my life. I did cry for six hours the other night, but that's besides the point. So I decided this morning I'd wake up and go for a walk to try and release some endorphins into my body. Um, has it worked? No, but I'm feeling positive now that it's sunny and stuff and I'm feeling really sticky, you know, when it gets sunny and sticky, I'm like, Ugh. But basically, I've spent too much time as a sad little life, Jane. I've spent too much time. What a sad little life, Jane. I have decided that this doesn't help. I'm gonna try and make myself look a bit better, feel a bit better, drink in some water. Actually, it's not water, it's diluted, but there's still water in it. And yeah, so I'm gonna try and make myself look a little bit less like a man. I'm gonna show you my makeup routine, I'm gonna do my hair, dress all nice, and just try and be a little bit nice about myself on a glorious day like this. Honestly, right, it's so typical. Like, the one day I decided to go to the cinema, it's boiling hot. Well, it's not boiling, it's like 21 degrees, but for England, that's, that's, that's hot. Okay, let's go. I feel like I wanna take you somewhere different today to do my makeup, but I don't really know where I would put you. We'll have a look. Okay, so, I'm back. I um, couldn't find, actually, I actually didn't really look for anywhere else to sit. I just noticed there's like a place that can sit, but it's also really, really hot, so if I start like sweating, like, it's, it is sweat. It's nothing else, it's no niceness, it's just sweat. I also put on some jewelry, because I feel like I didn't look like a tin man enough. It kind of distracts from the face a little bit. Like, I think you can put like a few necklaces on and like 17 rings. No one really looks at your face. Just me, maybe. <laughs> First thing I do, which I've told everyone about a thousand times, still use it every single day. It's the Wonder Sands Matte One Day Tan. And I use this kind of like instead of foundation now. It just makes it like jello. Does it? If you spray it on, look a bit crazy. <laughs> Bear with. And then you get your little mitt. I normally wear this, like when I don't wear any makeup, I just put this on my face. Look how nice and just glowy and bronze. And then you sort it and that's it, you're done. I asked on Instagram for some questions. Let's have a little bit of a chat. As you know, I've been a little bit AWOL. I haven't really <laughs> defined AWOL. Like I know some YouTubers literally post once a week and like that's just the norm for them and it's fine. They're obviously a lot busier than me. <laughs> I really haven't really got much to do. So, but I vowed that I was always going to post twice a week. But with moving back from London and then moving back home and then sort of move to Manchester, I've just been very, very stressed. It's just been a bit of a mess. I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. But yeah, so it's just been a little bit stressful. I've been a bit stressed with moving out. No one told me how expensive it is <laughs> to move out. Right, tell me what, why is a pack of knives £15? Hmm? I know it's like a dust pan and brush, it's only £5, but £5 for dust pan and brush. I thought it was going to be like pennies. I kind of forgot that I needed to buy stuff to move in. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm fine. A lot of people asked about the move to Manchester and when I'm moving and stuff. And that is not this weekend, but next. It's just scary because I don't really know many people there. It's just being an adult, like, I think it's just scary turning into an adult. I know I've lived away for three years from home, but it's not like living, the, it's not the living away. It's the living, like, on my own that's scary. Especially when I went from living with, like, a house of six girls. Six, like, not even just, like, two. Like, it was, like, six feet, six human bodies all aligned and now there's gonna be one and the one is me probably gonna have to go on like friend tinder or something someone asked if i'm gonna be doing youtube full time from now and the answer is c c amigo i am although it's really freaking me out like a few nights ago i had a breakdown at like four in the morning and ended up um looking for like waitressing jobs in manchester for like a weekend <laughs> 
and I, I don't even know why because like I shouldn't be panicking but like I am you just could stop watching me do you know what I mean like it's not like I'm just embracing this time you know what I mean if it doesn't work out like it's fine do you know what I mean and I've only got my contract for my house for six months so I'm not like tied down if I don't like enjoy it or if I just want to come home I, I'm not gonna want to come home but if I want to go somewhere else or like if like it's too expensive like so it's it's not the end of the world and it just keep on like just letting myself know that it's fine but i'm really excited to like do the videos and stuff and, and like decorate it and make it my own and stuff so that's gonna be really really fun i'm really excited for that because i feel like when i'm home i just feel a bit like i'm in a box a lot of people have been asking us about what i'm doing in regards to like the industry and stuff i honestly couldn't tell you i'm so hot and cold about the whole situation one minute i'm like yes i want to sing i want to dance all the time and the next minute i'm like oh it's a really hard industry like is it worth i just don't know what to do i think what i might do is just see how i feel when i go to manchester and not put too much pressure on myself because i feel like us as beans right really puts too much ah really puts way too much pressure on ourselves and like we just don't need to we don't need to put so much pressure on ourselves to always know everything that we're gonna do in life like i feel like sometimes it's fun just to float around probably not but i think it's quite fun to float around sometimes i remember right my first hate comment was someone saying that my eyebrows were really really bad and i was like i don't know I do agree. The Italian thick granddad eyebrows. If anyone ever sees me, right, and wants to like touch my eyebrows, don't feel weird about it because they're so weird. I feel like people don't believe me when I tell you that they feel so different. They feel a bit like, I don't want to say like vagina hair. <laughs> Just kind of like got pubic eyebrow hairs. Do you know what I mean though? Like, you know, like more like. You know, I'm sick of as well, guys. TikTok. I always see loads of YouTubers saying that, like, like big YouTubers, that, like, the best way to grow is on TikTok, blah, blah, blah. Like, go on TikTok and people follow, blah, 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 blah. Why don't I put any F? I just, I hate, I don't hate it. I love TikTok. I think I spent, like, seven hours on it this morning. Like, I'm, I'm addicted to it. But also, it makes me feel really sad. Like, when I go on TikTok, I go on and I have a good time because it's really funny. But I always end up feeling worse. Does anyone else feel like this? Like, the girls are just too pretty. Like, piss off. It makes me feel sick that people actually actually evolve like that and then especially when like you're not feeling the greatest about yourself when you go on and you say no there's paintings there's nothing against the paintings like obviously like it's good for them that look like that but i just don't think it's very good for my brain so i may have to delete i don't know everyone's been asking me about like festival outfits and stuff guys include i'm going to park like this saturday right and when i tell you i've got no outfit i'm feeling really anxious about going i don't want to order anything new because i'm a bit skin what's everyone wearing anyone's going will you please let me know what you're wearing so i can kind of like match the vibe because i know some people dress like really like festivally but i'm just not that girl like i'm not gonna be wearing like a harness that's just not really for me like good on you if you do but it's just not my like kind of fashiony vibe so it's like what do we wear look at the difference in those eyes with my mascara like what like look they're not even that long but look like i want to fly away someone asked what my future plans and ambitions are which i think was such a cute little question is anyone else really good at picking up things with their toes like i think i use my toes like kind of like the same amount of times as i use my hands is that a bit weird i really really want to hit 100k i don't know if it's gonna happen you know what no it will it will it will guys let's put that manifestation in the air i need to start manifesting again actually because i stopped i think when i used to manifest life was really on my side and then i stopped and now i think the universe hates me a little bit just a little bit but like i do love you universe like please come back eventually i would love 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 to do a podcast but also, I'm northern. I stutter on every single word that I say. I kind of mumble a lot. I don't really think anyone would watch it. Watch it, you can't watch it. Obviously not yet. It's like a long-term goal. But I would really, really love to do a podcast. I just think the thing that I love best is talking. So therefore, going on a platform where all you do is talk and no one has to look at this ugly mug just sounds like my cup of tea because honestly guys right i love youtube i do love it like it's my favorite thing in the whole entire world however having to look at myself every single day for hours on end editing myself really doesn't do much for the self-confidence you notice things about yourself that you never ever ever even saw before it's quite sad. i'd love to work with a brand on like coming out with like a line of clothes that's obviously like that would never happen but a girl can dream a girl can dream i'm just open to whatever life takes me at the moment dreams are good i don't know how to say get any expensive makeup get the short Tilbury ones i've had this for like a year and i'm still using it's a bit disgusting but okay i'm done i'm done my makeup and now i just put the setting spray on all over the place catfish alert meow i'm gonna do my hair 
So basically, I feel like I either, my hair looks like this, it's in a ponytail, it's straight, or I spend like 12 hours curling it, and I just can't be asked to curl it. But I watched Flossie's video and she does this thing with her hair. I feel like everyone knows it, but I didn't actually know it was like a thing. She like curls her hair in a way where she doesn't really curl it. She's like straightening it, but like flicking it. She's like, cut, she's like cut. And then she goes like, and she had to like two minutes. So I'm going to try it and see if it works. So I'm going to come back. So I pretend I'm a real YouTuber and do a transition. Let's, let's, let's try the hair. <gasps> Hey guys, right, so, looks nothing like Flossie's hair, right? Flossie, I'm sorry that I did you absolutely dirty. This looks nothing like your hair. I don't really know what I did, but I like it. I just think it looks nice and like, I don't know, like all voluminous and just fun and bouncy. I think I quite like it, you know. I actually think I'm gonna do it more often. I feel like you can't glow up on the same lighting. You have to go somewhere else. Let's take you somewhere else. That's everything that's that's me ready now. I just can't be bothered to do much more if I'm honest. But it's fine. Right, thank you so much for watching guys. Um, I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon with more videos.